the Oklahoma Newsroom. This is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. It looks like Oklahoma State football could potentially set a season ticket record sales this year. Kyle Fredrickson joins us on the phone to talk about that and other matter matters related to the Cowboys. Kyle, the uh, high to this point has been a little over 50,000. That number set in 2013. Last year saw that number fall back to about 45,000. Why the optimism right now that Oklahoma State could surpass their previous high? Well, there's a lot of factors that contribute to it, and obviously the way that the Cowboys finished their season last year with those consecutive wins and, and you know, returning a, a lot of really guys who've become household names and, and Mason Rudolph on, on the offense and guys on defense like Emmanuel Agba uh, that people know, that people have kind of grown to, to love within the OSU fan base. So anytime that you, you have a team that you can really appreciate, uh, it, it's going to help. But I think uh, one of the biggest sells that, that maybe goes overlooked in terms of season ticket sales this year um, is just the home schedule that the Cowboys have. I mean, in recent memory, this has to rank among uh, one of the best ever uh, when you get uh, TCU and Baylor, the, the two top preseason predicted teams in the league. Uh, you get Bedlam at home. You get Kansas State at home. Um, really, some of the marquee matchups on the Cowboys' schedule um, are all going to be in Stillwater this year. Um, so you add all of those factors together, um, really just – the, the entire optimism surrounding the program. And I think that uh, those in the OSU ticket office are right in, in predicting that, that uh, 50,223 uh, season tickets sold mark uh, could very well come down uh, in, for a new record this year, uh, kind of depending on how this August goes. Um, this is really the month uh, when the ticket office sees its most sales that it'll have all year as, as football really ramps up. Um, and a lot of that is going to depend on the student total. Um, last year, uh, they sold about uh, 10,500 uh, student tickets, um, and if the Cowboy uh, students are able to match that total uh, again this year, um, they'll easily sur surpass uh, the number of total tickets sold last year, that 45,000 number, um, and sneak up, I think, a little bit on that mark. Um, and then possibly, maybe not this season, but, but in a few seasons, um, the ticket office is hoping to approach uh, kind of its capacity uh, which is 54,000 season tickets um, until the general public will uh, not be able to buy them anymore. So, so they'll be in sellout mode at that point. So uh, a lot of optimism this year uh, yet to be seen how close they'll actually get to that sellout number, uh, but they're thinking that they're getting pretty close. Well, and Kyle, you mentioned that getting close to that sellout number, uh, as you chronicled in your story about this big push towards, uh, you know, a high in ticket sales. When they added on to Boone Pickens Stadium, it was such a big add-on and, and to numbers that they'd never, ever seen in a single game at the, at the uh, stadium. So the fact that they're thinking they might do a season sellout in the not-too-distant future, that's big news at Oklahoma State. Oh, absolutely. You know, 2009, uh, when the Cowboys opened uh, in the renovated Boone Pickens with that huge win against Georgia, um, you know, I don't know that people would have predicted that uh, they would get close to selling it out, um, you know, in just five or six years. But, you know, we're, we're certainly getting to that point. And, and so much of that momentum is just stemmed on uh, how likable, I think, in a lot of people's eyes, this OSU team is when you have a young quarterback and a lot of playmakers. Um, you know, at the, the Tulsa Cowboy Caravan a couple weeks ago, Larry Reese even said uh, he was in the ticket office and Barry Sanders was there uh, getting some season tickets. Uh, so, you know, you know when Barry's going back uh, to get his seat, um, you know, that, uh, that shows you just how excited I think everyone is uh, in that Cowboy family about the potential of the team. I didn't know that Barry Sanders had to stand in line for his tickets at Oklahoma State. That's a revelation, Kyle. <laughs> it is. It is. And, you know, Larry said that, uh, you know, with, with Barry's son playing out at Stanford, um, you know, that it, it's tough for him to make um, a lot of those games. So, you know, I'm sure some of those tickets that he got will, uh, will, won't go used this season. Um, but I, I, he had also mentioned, Larry, that uh, once that uh, Barry Sanders Jr. does graduate, um, that, you know, you can expect uh, Barry Sr. To, to be in the crowd for most of those games. Wow, okay. Well, you mentioned the, the likability of this team. Kyle, before we let you go, uh, you've had a chance to catch a few more days of the Cowboys as they go through their camp, through their two-a-day sessions. Uh, what have you seen? What have been your impressions from practice that stand out as these, uh, as these guys inch closer to the season getting started? 
You know, it's it's really just been a showcase of depth over the past few days. Um, you know, the Cowboys had really one of their first full session scrimmages today. Um, 118 plays um, between the the first and, and the third group of, of of players here, and and really, it's it's been you know interesting just to see uh, the different combinations of players who've been used on on each of these units. Um, because the Cowboys are so loaded, a lot of decisions are going to have to be made pretty soon. Um, at defensive tackle, especially in the secondary, um, about who the guys are going to be. Uh, we're really in that race for first team snaps uh, come September 3rd for Central Michigan. Um, so, you know, today was, I think, a big step toward that. Um, coaches and players will go back and, and look at today's film, uh, try to make some adjustments. Um, there will also be a big scrimmage day on Saturday. Um, and by Tuesday, uh, once the Cowboys return to practice, we'll take a short break over the weekend. Um, Gundy and company are, are going to kind of sit down and, and really start to identify those guys who are going to be at those, that first and, and second team. And, and as we get closer, figuring out who those starters are going to be. Um, you know, certainly some tougher choices, I think, this year than years past. But um, for Gundy, I, I think that's a, it's a very good problem to have when you're not so sure who should be starting because you have so much depth. Um, so uh, you know, obviously the the the, the, get the big game not uh, got the big name guys have, have continued to not shine. Mason Rudolph with another good day. Uh, Chris Carson had really the most explosive play of the day, uh, an 80 yard uh, touchdown run down the sideline, showcasing some speed. Uh, certainly giving the coaching staff um, you know a, a good impression of, of what he might be capable of come Saturday this fall. Definitely sounds like the next few days we could be looking at a depth chart, maybe have an idea of who may fill some of those starting roles for the Cowboys. Hey, be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.